the second half with a throwback 276 by Baker distributing, led to the green flag by Josh Berry and Ryan Repco as the field races off into turn number one. Ooh, contact already. Mike Darn, Craig Moore. Hello. Stroke a race. Doesn't like second place, apparently. Meanwhile, for the race lead in turn number three, Ryan Repco to the bottom inside of Josh Perry. Stroke a race. Craig Moore in the middle of that one as well. New leader off of turn number four with 11 laps complete. Ryan Repco now in charge of the throwback 276. Starting to wonder if Barry thinks maybe the pace of this race is a little too fast for his liking. As he's all the way now back into the fifth and possibly the sixth spot. As Lane Riggs may let him in front of him, and he does. Whoa, watch out. Three wide further back. Problems for Ronald Hill. That car has slowed. Something amiss on that brand new chassis of his. You see sparks flying. Something apparently dragging or, or not up to snuff, but Ronald Hill backsliding now suddenly. And yes, something on the left front appears to have maybe gone askew. That's what up front. Craig Moore on the outside of Ryan Repco. New leader, lap number 42. Stroker race to the point. Craig Moore, the chicken suit has speed. Meanwhile, fight for the fourth spot. Ryan Millington, the 10. Lane Riggs looks underneath of him. Riggs will claim the spot for the moment with lap 43 now on the board. And Deke started somewhere in the depths of the back of the field. I mean, Deke was like 20. He was on the bubble in qualifying. Yeah, he was on the back in 26th. And he's already just about made his way to the top 10. So great drive by Deke McCaskill. Very well and very succinctly put together Mike Mittler tribute car. We lost Mike Mittler earlier this year. Whoa, D or, uh, Trevor Ward problems. That car has slowed abruptly. Nearly got spun when the car lost power or something apparently happened. Eight point. Problems for the 81 of Jeremy Burns. He too has fallen off the pace. And that Ford appears to have maybe lost power. The Lee McCall owned car. Tough break. You see the one of Brody Pope there in the middle of that one? Deke McCaskill now on the outside. Three wide down the back stretch. Whoa, Taylor Gray sideways again. Contact with Tyler Matthews from Taylor Gray. And March's winner, Taylor Gray, looks like his race might be going uh, the way of the Dodo Birds. Not Greg Moore continues to show the way. And the Kirk iPod, solid rock carrier special. Tell you what, Bojangles Chicken must be the fuel for champions here. Now, moving up to third or trying to, Bobby McCarty underneath the Mike Darn and Lane Riggs also trying to give chase. Change for the lead, turn number three. Ryan Repco darts underneath the Craig Moore. And with 27 laps to go, Ryan Repco leads the throwback 276. How many times do you see this in your life? Dave Marcus's car about to lap the Jeff Gordon special. Not an off, not a, uh, a great night for many Tyrell. Things just haven't gone his way, but I'll tell you one thing, that car certainly looks sharp. Bradley McCaskill, Graphics Unlimited doing the wrap on it. They nailed it. That thing is perfect. But traffic now in front of your leader, Ryan Repco. This may be the race. What does Bobby McCarty have to get up to and around? Craig Moore and Ryan Repco. Nine to go. Repco underneath former track champion here, Austin McDaniel. One. And Repco begins to pull away. Seven laps to go for Ryan Repco. Bobby McCarty has got to find a way around the seven of Craig Moore. Repco continues to stretch it out. The gap now about 10 to 12 car lengths. McCarty gets underneath the Moore for second. Is there enough time for Bobby McCarty to reel in Ryan Repco? Just four circuits remain in the throwback 276 by Baker Distributing. Be told because this kid is a fighter. He has fought through so much in his life and his career to get to this point. White flag in the air for Ryan Repco. 
The Dave Marcus Real Tree Throwback has about a 10 to 12 car length advantage over the rest of the field. And into turn number three, Ryan Repco will take Dave Marcus to Cars Tour Edelbrock Victory Lane. He wins the Throwback 276 by Baker Distributing. Craig Moore in the Stroke Race Throwback finishes second. Bobby McCarty unofficially finishes third. Lane Ryan Repco taking a Alan Kowicki style Polish victory lap. The biggest win of this young man's career. Formerly won the Bobby Isaac race here a couple of seasons ago. And now he just bested the toughest field of his career for the throwback 276. Talk about what's Dave this like for you, your car in victory lane? It's great, I tell you what. I think Ryan done a fantastic <laughs> job. Uh, you know, he really used his head, took care of them tires, and let the other guy drive hard, and then just drove by him. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to rub Junior a little bit about that. Well, he was probably watching. He probably knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> so say hi. Hi there, Junior. How you doing? <laughs> He'll have some video of this one, I am sure. We'll have to get it to him for the Dale Junior download. But Ryan Repco, going to get congratulations from Dave Marcus, the first to greet him in the race car. Head, good. The only one that pays is that checkered flag. <laughs> you did a great job. Pretty. You're in Cars Tour, Edelbrock Victory Lane, the biggest one of your career, and a legend, Dave Marcus's car. Can you put this into words? No, really. It's an honor. I mean, this is a pretty prestigious event. Um, it's about the only one you can win with an absolutely packed house, and um, to win a cars race, that's huge. That's um. That's pretty much uh, the pinnacle of short track racing right now. Um, and I'm just, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's awesome. And uh, be able to honor Dave Marcus, that's just, that's just great. Were you concerned at all during the latter portions of the race that you are going too fast, the pace was too much, that somebody behind you was going to come get you? What were those concerns, or did they not even enter your mind? They didn't, because I, did, I had a car similar to when I won the Bobby Isaac, and I just drove up straight up off the corner, and um, I knew I wasn't burning up my stuff.